Hi, I'm Olivier Babaz, and we're here at Discover Double Bass filming a course about improvisation. And I'm joined by Sam Dunn on guitar. Um, one of the questions we, we get asked a lot is uh, the bass playing in a gypsy jazz traditional swing feel. While I'm not a specialist about gypsy jazz, I've got my own approach to it, which is the one I heard in the old recording, especially all the Django Reinhardt recordings. And basically, it's to play very simple bass lines, one and fifth on the first and third beat, and having some melodic devices leading to the next uh, to the next fundamentals of each chord. Let's just hear it on uh, all of me playing at a moderate tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. One key element is the length of each note. For this feel, to me, the length has to be the first quarter note, but it has to be muted on the two and four. But you don't want to have a strong mute like because in this case you would take all the place from the guitar. But you don't want the note to be too short neither. And of course, all the melodic devices are part of the scales and are just linking. Uh, roots one with uh, one from one chord to the other. Let's hear it uh, in a, a little quicker tempo. One, two. two uh, 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 uh. It's not a as round feel as it would be in a more traditional swing, but it's not as it's not as spicy as it could get if we had a, a strong slap on the two and four. Another great thing you can do when it comes to gypsy jazz is adding the bow. There are actually a lot of old recordings where the 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 bass player are playing with the bow. So let's hear how it sounds and don't forget that those are exactly the same rules than in pizzicato and it's just important to focus on the quality of your sound let's hear that one two one two three four <laughs> Nice little thing you can do with the bow is to really take care of your articulation and sliding up or down. The first note can really add roundness to the bow. When you're playing the bow, it can sometimes be a little stiff. So adding a, a little articulation at the very beginning of your note. I'm exaggerating here a little bit, but at the, at the end. And it's very efficient to use that those kind of little articulation with basic chord tones. I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. 
And if you want to know more about me or jazz bowing or improvisation, you can go to discoveredoublebass.com and check out the courses. Mm -hmm.